I'm going to be sewing with my Florence Fancy Leg Sewing Machine. These machines were made starting in 1855. This particular one is in 1870 and they were made in Florence, Massachusetts originally and uh, it's a very different kind of sewing machine and I got attachments with this sewing machine and one of them was the tuck creaser um, and I'm going to show you how to use that on this machine. Um, these tuckers are pretty fascinating. I've made other videos from other models that I have and uh, basically the older ones were on these had this long bar on a spring that goes next to the needle bar and it comes down and it presses on a little creaser or marker that puts a little crease in the fabric while you're sewing another tuck and the way it does this is typically it's pretty much the same on most of them there's a there's a little plate a little bar that has a crease in it some kind of sharp pointed crease area and then there's a ridge on a lower plate and they go the fabric goes between them and while that creaser comes back and forth up and down it puts a little mark on the fabric so here's how you set this one up on here now a lot of these with the bars these long bars to the spring have a little hook that goes around the needle this one may have had it originally but it I don't know where it is now but so it still works by just moving it next to the needle here as I have and you screw it down to the cloth plate and there's two adjustments on these there's one for the size of the tuck and there's one for the distance between tucks and this one here is for the size of the tuck and now I slide the lower one for the distance between tucks that moves the creaser back and forth and then you tighten them down real snug so they stay in place. And here I've got a piece of cloth already folded over and ironed. And this will start with the first tuck. And these machines are real different. They're a curved needle machine. Basically this one sews from right to left and while it's sewing the first tuck, the second, the mark for the second tuck is, is being made with that little creaser on the left side as that bar comes down. These tuck markers uh, must have been something that was uh, very popular at the time because you see them with all different designs for all the different machines early on. I don't think you get tuckers with with new machines these days, but back then tuck markers were must have been very popular because there's lots of designs and the inventors were making different models and designs. The, the inventor of this one, H.C. Uh, Goodrich, uh, he made a wide variety of, of designs on these tuckers. And you look through his patents on these. He made them for different models of machines, different makers of machines, and he was basically a, an attachment maker, inventor. got a couple of tucks done. I want to show you that little crease, that little faint crease. It's usually plenty to see to make your next one. And there's the line. So I folded it over. I ironed the tucks down. Here's where the crease was, was marked. I fold next fold. This time I'm showing you uh, the machine from the other side. So we're looking in at the left side. 
so you can see that little creaser come down and mark that fabric. just another view from above. Here I've got three tucks done. We're going to start on the fourth. tucker that the tucks themselves when I'm sewing the next tuck they can be either on the top or under turned underneath and it marks just as well. Now I've had other tuckers here you can see the, the line at the point of my scissors where it creased for the next tuck and I found with some of the other tuckers typically the tucks need to be underneath while you're sewing the other in order for it to mark the fabric well enough to see. But with this one, it seemed to do just as well whether the tucks were on top while I was sewing or they were underneath. Either way, this one would be off. And basically, I've got a, a nice set of tucks here done. Tuck markers, tuck creasers, tuckers, they all work quite well. Make very nice, pretty tucks.